most of the humans they understand simple language if the words or text displayed on the screen or the title of your button is misunderstood by your user it is going to lead him or her to an undesirable result or goal so you need to make sure that you are labeling your buttons correct you are using correct labels for your form fields you are even titling your web pages correctly your blog posts and even your error messages and notifications just an example if you go 5 years back whenever you encountered any error on a website you might see some error like this hash code 449098 error sql termination occurred so you never understood what that error was so if you can't even understand the error how come you can even fix it so this is a very big problem very broad problem if you can't understand what happened or what was the error you can't fix it at all similarly our users they have very simple minds so they cannot understand these kind of codes these codes are for developers or coders or the people who know really know what that code means but for normal user who is visiting your website or you're using your app it is very undesirable result he cannot comprehend it a better example is you can see couldn't install driver due to unavailability of internet so this is a very simple mistake and i i have seen a lot of developers using this and keeping leaving these kind of errors on their apps and websites so try to avoid these kind of apps use simple language simple actionable language which can lead to action and how to fix this error so you can see in this in this example couldn't install driver due to unavailability of internet and you can also add try to connect to internet a button with this so user can take further action to correct his problem a little bit more about natural language and uh, how to effectively use that in your interfaces or mobile apps or buttons or labels is that you need to tell your user what this form is about what this button is about what this item does so you need to use very descriptive labels for your uh, buttons and uh, for your form fields and uh, your uh, any navigational items so instead of using submit you can use download pdf file so this button shows that this action if i do this action or press this button it is going to download pdf guide also on your contact forms if you are using submit or send it is better that you use send message and this is a bit descriptive message rather than send or submit so uh, keep all these things in mind i am going to show you some of the visual examples of these error pages and how you can make them interesting and even funny for your users This is one of the old examples of uh, error codes and uh, error messages you can see the sn type is not corresponding error code 12 so i never know what this actually error code 12 means so i cannot fix this error at all also you can see this is another example this is a windows error of uh, you can see this real monitor.exe file and you can see the error code is 1142 so i don't know what why this error code has is happened or how i can fix it this is a good example you might have seen this on google chrome that if there is no internet you can play this dinosaur game so this is a bit interesting error message and very descriptive unable to connect to the internet this is another error message no internet connection but there is no way to correct it so there must be some button like try again try again after 5 minutes something like that so user can easily correct it now this is a very bad example of error code or error message there is no action user can take so you can see over here i am not getting any details or any actionable details from this we couldn't complete your request so what was my request i i don't remember maybe i try to open an app or maybe i try to use some uh, tool to connect to online or maybe share my picture please try again in a moment so it is not telling me why this request was not able to be completed so i need the reason why this happened so uh, this is another example but it is not very clear now i am going to show you the evolution of error 404 message which was very common on um, online websites that this page has not been found 
these are the old messages that used to appear and they are not uh, actionable you cannot know what they are and although there is a home page you can go back but uh, you cannot know why this happened okay so there are a lot of great examples let me show you this is airbnb 404 error page and you can see over here very nice uh, graphic to make it uh, illustration to make it uh, a bit more engaging and you can see we can't seem to find the page you are looking for this is basically the main feedback or main error that tells the user explains the user what happened now error code it is in gray a bit dull then there are few more helpful links maybe you need this this or this or this so it is guiding user maybe you are looking for these links maybe you want to go to home maybe you want to search so this is how you are going to get your user to take some action then we have another one you can see this is called 404 Venn diagram and uh, it shows two areas we broke something or you can't type so this is another one although it's very creative but it has only one thing over here please take me to the home page then this is another one it is using very nice animation of 404 page and uh, a very funny you can say very funny title that page never returned from a trip to to the and Takama Desert so you go, need to go to the home website this is another one it is very funny so this is how you turn your user disappointment into some fun and uh, let him use your website for some more time uh, hello it is me you are looking for so this is very funny and uh, go home Lionel you are drunk so this is another one so make sure that you are giving two things on any kind of uh, this problem one is that your error message is comprehensible by your user the user can easily understand it and the action he need to take uh, whether he can fix it or he can go back to the page he came from or try something else or maybe his internet connection is down you need to tell him what happened and how to fix it and also try to use natural languages avoid codes i hope you have understood how you are going to use natural language instead of error codes and complex error messages if you have any questions do ask me let's move on to the next lesson